Hello there. Uh, my name is Tony Mills, Soul Whisperer. Um, I'm today talking about uh, tinnitus or tinnitus. If you look at my website, you'll see many other videos that I've talked about the mesophysical cause, um, and you'll find them very enlightening because the body's merely expressing what we feel. And this is where I go, this is what I work with, um, and I have amazing results with that. So. Um, so tinnitus or tinnitus, whichever you, way you want to say it, is a kind of ringing in the ears, a buzzing, any um, constant noise in the ears is enough to block out what you don't want to hear. This is how literally the body speaks. Okay. So um, if there's maybe something that happened in the childhood that you didn't want to hear, parents arguing, being told off, whatever, uh, harsh words, these are all uh, uh, want to block out, you want to block them out. And um, there may be a, then a fear of criticism, which then continues um, when, as you get older, that fear of criticism or being judged, um, or, or even a fear of change can then do it. And this is the constant noise that it's like we, we have, um, we all tell ourselves off for different things. Oh, I'm stupid when I did that. But when it's something constant, then it begins to affect our health. Now, tinnitus is a good, obvious one because there's a constant noise in the ears. So it's constant trying to tell us what, what's happening. Um, so it, you then may attract the same situation that happened uh, in your childhood um, through partners and people in workspace, etc. So we continue the program and that constant noise keeps on. Um, you may have a kind of then a mistrust of the universe and, um, and drowning out your inner voice. You see, there's, there's also a blockage of intuition here, something inside. As is the ears and eyes are, are, are connected with the senses, they also relate to the third eye. And that's a lot to do with intuition. And uh, intuition um, may also have been blocked as parents. If they're very uh, brain oriented parents and doesn't mean, believe in anything uh, spiritual or metaphysical, um, they, that belief may go through to you and you may block out that amazing intuition. This is your power. The intuition and feelings come from the heart or the brain uh, works with a lot of fear. So, um, so the third eye can shut down and it may, the eyes can, it can happen to the eyes, but it can happen to the ears as well. Okay. So you could say it's the third ear as well. Um, so, so there, there may be, may be a family where there's imagination hasn't been present at all. And that, that would be a big factor. There's, a, there's different fears coming up here to this fear of, fear of hearing criticism, fear of being judged, fear of information that will change your foundation. That, that can be a big deal, okay? Uh, fear of the future, okay? Fear of life and living it can be scary, especially these days for many people. And even fear of being present. Right. These can all affect us in different ways. So like everything else, we create our own negative experiences physically, emotionally, and as a consequence, or unresolved emotional challenges. Um, so we, we choose to ignore what is bothering us emotionally. That is the point that we, we tend to get on with life. Okay? But the emotion, first, the emotions try to come through to us and express it with different feelings then the body then says okay i'm taking over now i'm going to express it for you and look how literal uh, tinnitus is not wanting to hear and not wanting to listen or not fear of criticism all those that's how literal tinnitus is and and it's quite amazing so your body is your best friend that's trying to communicate with you um so you know so is there a cure for it um well, there is, like, if we start listening, if we change these programs, actually, it can also, tinnitus can ease off then. Um, 
So it, then these um, emotions can have a, set, a satisfactory resolution. The emotions, when they're dealt with, can ease off and then the, the hearing can improve and the, the annoyance can change until we actually alter ourselves and, and listen to, the, to our emotions, start releasing them, then it can continue. As I said, I have um, many other different videos on different metaphysical conditions. They all relate to how the body expresses these feelings. And it is very important to listen to our body. And it, listening is, is the key with tinnitus. Okay. So um, have a great day. And we'll see you again on another video. Okay. Bye now.